I mean, not everyone can afford a direct flight like British Airways from their home countries to the UK or from the UK to their home countries. Usually, direct flights like British Airways can be a bit pricey. If everyone could do that, life would have been 10 times easier because direct flights, you are picked straight from your country or wherever to the destination airport without any hassle. You don't have to think about long waiting period. And then more recently, the most annoying one, you don't have to think of applying for transit visa and transit visa costs and all that. In 2020, around October I traveled to Ghana for my wedding at the time I used KLM so I transited through Amsterdam I believe and at the time there was nothing like transit visas and all that however now if you're using KLM let's say you're traveling to Ghana or Nigeria or wherever now you require a transit visa to be able to transit through Amsterdam previously that was not the case but these days I believe post Brexit all these changes have been made today's video I'm going to talk about some airlines that you can actually purchase a ticket from without needing a transit visa especially if you're going to Africa or if you hold an African passport. <laughs> My name is Anel Rizoda. For those who are seeing me for the first time on this channel, I talk about migrating to the UK. I talk about life in the UK as an immigrant. I talk about opportunities for people to relocate abroad. So if you think these are things that interest you, kindly consider subscribing. So what I realize is that most of the European airlines, you may require a transit visa. I'm doing this video because not long ago, a lady shared her story on all of the WhatsApp groups that I joined, where she had no idea that she would need a transit visa and it was a big issue. She had to get a transit visa, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so before you buy your ticket, whether you're traveling it to UK or or out of UK to your home country, know these things, okay? Obviously, with British Airways, absolutely no transit visa is needed, okay? So that's number one. Number two, if you're using the United Arab Emirates and Etihad Airways, I don't know if I've said it well, you may not require a transit visa. So passengers transiting through Dubai or Abu Dhabi, you do not need a transit visa. These airlines provide you with transit visa free options. You can actually, you know, move freely from Africa, uh, you know, to the UK. If you're using Emirates, you will not need to get a transit visa so emirates is good next to british Airways. what i'll say is that if you're transiting through dubai i've never been to dubai but i hear that the airport is quite huge so if you know that the transit period is just one hour please change it look for another flight where when you check the itinerary it's about three hours interval before your next flight that you board to hit through or before your next flight that you board to your final destination please make sure there's enough time because i hear the dubai airport is really big from one terminal to the other can take you several minutes to walk so if you don't take care, you might miss your next flight. There's actually a nurse who came with my agency who missed her flight. I think she had just one hour interval, so she actually missed the second flight, okay? So please, so yeah, that would be my number two after British Airways. Then for number three, I would say Qatar Airways. Also, passengers transiting through Hamad International Airport in Doha with Qatar Airways also do not require a transit visa. So you can consider that as well. And then also Turkey or Turkish Airlines, but there's a caveat here, please listen. So if you get the option to use a Turkish airline as well, you can use it. However, if the transit period, the wait period is less than 24 hours, you will not require a transit visa. But sometimes you know that the next flight is like after 24 hours where you have to go to a hotel to sleep over and then later, if that is your situation, especially the very cheap tickets, if that is your situation, you would actually need a transit visa, okay? But if it's less, just some two hours transit wait time or three hours, four hours, you will not need a transit visa to use your airport to get to your next flight to your final destination if you have an African passport. A lady was like, a BRP was enough for her. She shared this on the page as well. She said they actually took her BRP. But what about those that are coming, you know, for the very first time and they don't have their BRP yet, you know? And even with all these that I'm saying, things keep changing every day. So always make sure that you are updated, check, phone the airline to be sure that if you are carrying this passport, do you need a transit visa to transit through their airport? But from what I hear or from my research that I did, if you're spending less than 24 hours before your next flight and you're not leaving the airport you will not need a transit visa so i think one other one that somebody also shared in the group when we were talking about this topic was royal air maroc i have never used it or know of anybody that has used it but honestly guys you can share your experience if you've used any of these airlines or if you've had any transit visa issue in the comment section so that we can all learn okay the only airlines i've taken is i think i've taken kenyan airways yes and i'm taking klm and british airways that's all so this video is probably sponsored by lemfi yes lemfi you can send money using Lemfi if you're in the UK, Canada, or the US to about 10 different African countries with no transfer charges. Absolutely no transfer charges. And it's a known fact that Lemfi has the best rates when it comes to transferring money. With Lemfi, you actually get value for your money. And the person gets the money almost immediately when you send it. You can send money from UK, Canada, or the US using Lemfi to Ghana, Nigeria, Benin, Tanzania, Rwanda, Cameroon, Senegal, Ivory Coast with zero fees. And 
honestly zero fees ever since i discovered it that's what myself and my family have been using and it's been very reliable i've never had any issues with it and even if you should have any issues your customer support is going to sort out your issues immediately you can download lemfire whether you use an android whether you use an ios with a link in the description and for your first transfer above 100 pounds if you use the referral code nanel you get 10 percent of the money you're transferring back yes 10 percent cash back so when you say 100 pounds you get 10 pound back when you say 200 pounds you get 20 pound back and even after that you can generate your own referral code and you know share with your friends and family your group chats and then anytime somebody uses your code you get a referral bonus as well yes so don't forget to send money using my referral code okay thank you so much lem for sponsoring today's video so istanbul's atatürk airport has a wide range of connecting flights between africa and then the uk and then ethiopian airline is africa's largest airline and they offer flights between the uk and africa with very convenient layover options very very convenient also transit passengers with confirmed onward flights are exempt from having a transit visa if the layover is within 12 hours so just like the Turkish one once you have an onward flight once your ticket shows that you have another flight that you'll be boarding in the next 24 hours you do not need a transit visa if it's less than 24 hours okay and if you're not hesitant there to go and sleep in a hotel blah 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 the ethiopian airline as well unless you have a confirmed onward flight okay and you're spending less than 12 hours you will not need a transit visa and then we have egypt air so egypt air also provides connection flights between africa and uk with transit options in cairo or Cairo, however it's called. Also, transit passengers with confirmed onward flights and layovers within 48 hours are exempted from transit visa requirements. And obviously, I'm sure the other African airlines like Kenyan Airways and all those other ones, you will not need a transit visa. These are just a few of the airlines, okay, that I came across in my research. It is always, always very essential to check the transit visa requirements, okay, as they may change from time to time. Honestly, most of the time, even with British Airways, if you book early or plan early, you might be paying as little as some of these other airlines that are charging okay if only you're able to plan your journey ahead of time and book early enough okay to save yourself all these transit visa blah 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 honestly like if you can afford British Airways just use British Airways to save yourself all these but if not like I said Emirates or Etihad Airlines is there Ethiopian Airlines Qatar Airways Turkish Airlines Egypt Air just make sure you're updated to the current transit visa regulations or layover regulations okay so comments below if you have experience with any of these other airlines kindly share in the comment section so we can all benefit okay save our brothers and sisters all the stress so thank you so much for watching if this was of help to you kindly like this video and hit the subscribe button bye